The Wagner Group of Russia isn't just active in Ukraine. It also has a presence in many other countries, including Syria or Mali. Recently, troops of Russia's Wagner Group were seen in Venezuela during protests following disputed election results. The sighting has raised concerns about Russian involvement in the country's internal affairs. According to Militarni media outlet, Wagner was spotted among Venezuelan police officers during protests against President Maduro. It is noted that released footage shows a man in a camouflage suit with a Wagner Group insignia standing among the police officers. Venezuela and Russia have maintained close military and economic ties for years. Russia is one of the largest creditors of the Venezuelan government. The presence of Wagner Group mercenaries in Venezuela is seen as a sign of Russia's continued support for Maduro's government. Venezuela's Electoral Council released the results shortly after midnight on July 29, indicating that Maduro won with 51.2% of the vote, while opposition leader Edmundo González received 44.2%. This contrasted with exit polls and documentation the opposition had collected from around 40% of voting centers that seemed to show Gonzalez winning with 70% of the vote. The opposition immediately called the results into question, claiming that they had not been verified. International observers likewise cast doubt on the results' validity. Protests against this lack of transparency began the day after the election and have continued. While such mobilization against the government has become a feature of Chavista Venezuela, the current protests are notable for the range of people coming out onto the streets. Miren, miren esto. Qué horrible. No puedo ir al balcón porque me da miedo. Voy a dejar ya de grabar. Mira, la única, la única estatua de Chávez que no han tumbado es esta. Y la van a tumbar de bola. Ya hoy menos, no joda. A person was killed in their home in wildfire that torched six square kilometers of land in Colorado's Lyons Town, local authorities said on Wednesday, as almost 100 large blazes burned across the western U.S. The person's remains were discovered in one of five homes that burned, Boulder County Sheriff Curtis Johnson said without providing further details. The fire has prompted evacuation in the fire zone, with at least five structures being destroyed, according to authorities. It was one of several large fires burning along Colorado's densely populated area in Front Range. The Stone Canyon fire burning west of Rabbit Mountain and the town of Lyons was first reported around 2 p.m. on Tuesday. However, by Wednesday morning, the fire had grown to 1,320 acres and was 0% contained, according to the Boulder Office of Disaster Management. Yet another wildfire in Colorado was reported on the Alexander Mountain near Roosevelt National Park where Blaze torched 6,781 acres by Wednesday afternoon, fire officials said. The fire was 0% contained as of Wednesday afternoon, according to the sheriff's office. Thank you.